yes sir we is back also merry christmas happy holidays if y'all celebrate but anyways man the final episode of the shibuya arc is finally here this is one of those times where you really want to see how something ends but when it's over it's like man what now so i don't know about y'all but when this episode started off with the intro i was like oh yeah they's about to cook this episode but little did we know we was in for a chat episode a yap episode this episode was 99 percent talking so this episode starts right where we left off where you keep coming through with a last second buzzer beater and to be honest i thought it was gonna be on site with these two minimum talking straight hands but obviously i was wrong she really pulled up to the function just to show off her fit and buy some time but long story short she went on this whole rant about his plan being trash she said the other countries don't got nothing on japan and she's not wrong what's a nuke to a gojo but since the other countries don't got many sorcerers or much cursed energy at all only people in japan can benefit from this plan to become a sorcerer and that will probably start some kind of war because then normal humans would then become an energy source and you know what fake ghetto had to say about that Bitch, what I gotta do with me? We is not the same. I ain't never cared for no peaceful world. You said humans as an energy source? Hate to break it to you, shorty, but I tried that already. It didn't work. Plans have changed. Shout out my nigga Kratos, cause chaos is the only option. The moment she heard him talk about the ghost of Sparta, she knew what type of timing he was on. So she turned to act as usually what happened to Mahito and found out little bro got turned into a midnight snack. But fake ghetto was like, hold up, let me show y'all something real quick. I don't know how, but it turns out he pulled up my hero and awakened Mahito's quirk. So he used idol transfiguration on two types of people. The non-sorcerers like Junpei and the people like Yuji who consumed a cursed object. Mind you, he controls over a thousand of them niggas. So he pretty much gave them all a Zenkai boost and this dude decided that in order for them to better understand cursed energy he was like you know what just go ahead and kill each other what type of teacher is this nigga gave no lesson no review they instantly spawned in with a final dude so yuki got annoyed and no matter how strong you are jumping is an essential she turned to yuji was like come on let's go jump this nigga yuji was like yeah i would but i'm kind of trapped here then all of a sudden the ice disappeared and homeboy was on low battery mode he said choso quote unquote poison him but nah i see the true meaning that boy choso is burning whether it's hiv std whatever it may be choso infected that boy with a debuff but once again, fake ghetto has something else to show him. Just so he can have a grand exit, he spawned in a whole army of curses, flexed the Gojo collectible, and dipped. And now we finally get to see how it is outside of Shibuya. And nobody knows what happened. They saying it was some type of terrorist attack or some crazy earthquake. Not gonna lie, manga readers, I'ma need y'all to confirm or deny. They said something about 10 million curses going around the city. Is that because of the contracts fake ghetto made within his lifetime? But either way, this little girl saw this as an opportunity. First thing she did was hit up her favorite corner store and she was killing that sushi. But all of a sudden she heard a noise, looked up and saw some figure out the door talking about some hey come over here and at first i was like damn another anime child whose parents never taught him stranger danger so she was like hold up what about my moms then the ghost said oh yeah your moms your pops brother sister teacher they all rolling with me i don't got no brother dumbass and it's fuck them teachers man hold on let's give her a round of applause is this actually an anime child with some sense? But my happiness instantly faded when clearly all the signs were there. This is a stranger danger. But she goes, hey, are you okay? Do you want a drink? I just gave you respect and you threw it at my face. And I don't want to hear no O, oh, but she's a child. Nah, bro. That line would have worked 20 years ago. Kids aren't kids anymore. They is different now. But anyway, she ran out the store and I was like, damn natural selection but she ended up getting saved and go ahead and turn on that music a real nigga has arrived y'all don't know how long i've been waiting for you to the pull up it's kind of too late now though bro put up at the end credits of the movie you might as well leave the theater so as he was talking to the girl the curse started getting back up and i was like come on rika go ahead and handle his lightweight just gave that building a new coat of paint and then it cuts back to yuki one more time and who is she talking to she's talking about how she was never on someone's side and how she will take responsibility and it's now time for her to face tengen but why is she looking at us 
we not finna help you but in all seriousness i'm assuming she's talking to you too because right after cussing i'm talking to the higher ups he pretty much was like yeah i don't care if he's gojo's student i'm killing itadori my damn self and you know what i gotta say about that uh it's about damn time it's about damn time I guess it's Itadori K now. If Yuta wants him gone, then so be it. If Yuta don't message you, neither do I. Any Yuta disrespect will not be tolerated. But now, what is Yuji gonna do? He's not beating Yuta. The only thing I can see happening is either A, Yuta somehow gets convinced not to buy the Yuji, or B, Yuta beats him so bad that Sukuna comes out again. And then we're gonna see the King of the Curses versus Queen of the Curses. But at the same time, if you're fighting Sukuna, you're guaranteed to lose. So I doubt they're gonna do that. And now this last part is kind of crazy to me so in the jjk movie gojo confirmed to the higher ups that he killed ghetto which he did but nobody knew that the body was being controlled so they listed gojo as an op to the nation for helping ghetto and is now expelled from the realm of sorcery whatever that means bro it's gojo what are y'all gonna do to stop him and now they saying the principal instigated all this so now he's sentenced to death and finally the execution of yuji has been resumed and we already know yuto wants to be the one to catch that body and i thought that was the end of the episode but we see Yuji taking a nice Sunday morning stroll. He then put his hands up, clapped, and that boy summoned an army of curses. And now Yuji's walking again. Man, that was really the end of the Shibuya arc. 85% of this arc feel like nothing but sadness and depression. We gonna have to wait like 3 years for the next arc to get animated. But even though JJ Gay came to an end for right now, 2024 is stacked. Like just in January, we're getting the rest of Invincible Season 2, Solo Leveling, Classroom of Elite, Blue Exorcist, and later in the year, we're getting Chainsaw Man movie, Bleach, One Punch Man, Slime, Demon Slayer, My Hero. But yeah, bro, uh, it's now Itadori K and uh, Utah is him. <laughs> <laughs>